Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. I am officially back in my regular spot in the Twin Cities, honey. I had a ball this weekend in Miami. If you guys do not know, I was chosen to come down there for Nene Leak's Woman of Success trip. And it was so awesome meeting so many, you know, like-minded business women, women who are handling their business, you know, entrepreneurs, millionaires. I was just super stoked to be there, and I had a really good time. It was wonderful getting to know NeNe Leakes and also meeting Jennifer Williams. I really enjoyed meeting Jennifer Williams and hanging with her and talking to her, Carly Red as well. So, of course, there's some drama amiss that you guys wanted me to talk about. I will talk about the trip and everything that went on and, you know, what all we did. I'm going to save that for a whole nother video. But a lot of you guys were requesting my opinion on the whole situation with Sabrina Parr and Lamar Odom. As you guys know, I was hanging with them all weekend in Miami, basically. Um, I took a picture with Lamar Odom and his uh, new fiance. And so if you guys don't know, yesterday after we left Miami, because I left Miami Sunday night. So after Nene's brunch... Her and Lamar and um, Nene and Greg, they all went to like a separate dinner later on that night. And that is when Lamar Odom decided to propose to Sabrina Parr in front of Nene Leakes and, um, you know, their crew. And so she went to social media and she basically posted the ring and she said that she says yes. So then Lamar went online and he posted this picture of the two of them. And the caption says this. Introducing my new fiance, soon to be Miss Parr Odom, she the one. So a lot of people were congratulating them. A lot of folks wanted to know my opinion on the situation. Um, but then soon after that, Lamar Odom's son came out and he was really upset about the situation. So what's going on is basically Lamar Odom Jr. and the family had no idea he was going to be engaged to this woman. He's only known her for four months and he's really upset. And keep in mind, he is a teenager. He's only 17 years old. So this is what he took to social media to post. Go ahead and check this out. So Lamar Morales went into the comment section and this is what he wrote on Lamar's picture. He says, not a text or a phone call to see how people who've known this dude his whole life, to see how... To see how we would feel or react. New shawty only four months and already got you twisted. Fam and friends already don't approve a homegirl. But she already got your ass in a sunken place. Shame. Family got to find out on social media. But that's how life has been all the time as a son of an Odom. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard what his son had to say. So clearly to me, the son is hurt. And I know there's mixed reactions. Some people feel like, you know what, the son is doing too much. He, you know, your father doesn't need your permission. Other people are agreeing with the son because some people are saying they didn't like, you know, their interview on the reel and, you know, certain things about how she came off on the reel. I don't know because I haven't watched it. So I was just going through like a lot of comments. So it was definitely mixed. Now, I will say this. At the end of the day, Lamar Odom is grown. This is nothing new. We know that he proposed to Chloe after only knowing her a month, and he had a whole baby mama that he was living with, okay? So Lamar Odom has done this before where he's proposed to somebody super early, but even though he only knew Chloe a month, their marriage lasted quite a while. I mean, they were together for about four years, okay? Now I'll say this, Lamar Odom is really cool. I've met him a few different times besides, you know, in Miami. Very down to earth, very sweet to all his fans. You know what I'm saying? He's just, he's more quiet and subdued, okay? That's just you know more his personality type but um I'll say this as a parent you know sometimes we feel like our kids are grown or you know they might be over here and you're over there and sometimes you may forget to include them in things but I feel like something as important as somebody going to be their new stepmother as somebody that you're marrying that is something that he definitely should have told his kids first his kids should not have found that out on social media when you really care and you love somebody you're going to be proud to say hey this is who I'm going to be marrying this this will be my new wife, even if they don't agree, even if they don't like her, at least you're letting them know first, at least you're giving them the heads up first, okay, so I think that, you know, as a parent, he was wrong for not telling his children, you know, his plans to marry Sabrina, like I said, he's grown, he doesn't need their permission, but at least keep them in the loop, they deserve to know first before anybody on social media, you know what I'm saying, so the fact that it went to social media first before the immediate friends and family, I could see why the son was upset.
Now, after his post went viral and people, you know, were giving their opinions about what he posted on social media, he did come back and say the following. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Lamar Odom's son said a few hours later. Go ahead and check this out. So he stated this this morning. Um, he posted this on his page. He said, last night was emotional seeing my father, seeing my father got engaged through social media. I was hurt and caught off guard. At the end of the day, I'm a teenager that's becoming a young man and I have to be responsible for what I post. I have nothing but love for my dad and want what's best for him. So that is what Lamar Odom's son posted this morning. I don't know if those were necessarily his words because the way he wrote yesterday compared to those words, it sounds like a PR person got involved or maybe his mama got involved. But the fact that he is, you know, slightly apologizing for his behavior the night before, I think that's big of him because he could have just left it at that. But I just think, you know, he was just a kid who's hurt because, again, they found out about Chloe and Lamar getting engaged and then getting married via the show. And a lot of people who are Kardashian fans who don't know anything about basketball, who didn't know who Lamar was, they didn't even realize that he had other children. People assume that him and Khloe Kardashian, you know, they were going through these fertility struggles. They were both trying to have their first child together. But Lamar Odom has other children, you know, so a lot of people didn't know that watching the show. So I can understand how his kids may definitely feel some type of way. But I I am glad that he took to social media this morning to basically, you know, clear up some things and say that, you know, he wants the best for his father as he should. Because at the end of the day, that's his father. And, you know, women come and go, people come and go, but blood is for life, you know, and Lamar needs to make sure that he keeps that bond with his children very strong, you know, and he needs to include his children in his new life. Don't just make it about your fiance. Don't just make it about getting married. Also include those children in everything that's going on, you know, maybe that he can be the best man in the wedding, you know, stuff like that. Don't just leave them out in the picture because that can be very, very hurtful. So, you know, the whole situation is crazy, but, but congratulations to Lamar Odom and Sabrina Parr, you know, so this was a quick engagement, but again, when you find love and if you feel like you're in love, you know, why wait? But you know, again, we'll just have to see how everything plays out. Hopefully the family will be included in more decisions concerning the wedding and everything else. So again, like I said, I had an awesome time in Miami. Lamar was very cool and down to earth. So I just wish him nothing but happiness. He's been through a lot over the past few years and it seems like he's doing a lot better. He's in a better place mentally, you know, health wise and everything else. So it's really good to see him this weekend. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Once again, concerning Lamar Odom announcing to the world that he just proposed to his new fiance, Sabrina Parr. How do you guys feel about that? Do you guys feel like it's too fast? He's only known her a short amount of time. Or do you feel like, you know what, it is what it is. If they're in love, let them go ahead and get married. And then how do you feel about everything that went down yesterday on Instagram with Lamar Odom's son basically blasting him because he wasn't told in advance about the engagement? And then how do you guys feel about what he had to say this morning? Basically, you know, low-key apologizing for his actions and saying that he wants the best for his father. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, honey. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And most importantly, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be down with the notification squad. I got several videos dropping today, so stay tuned. All right, deuces.